is it bad for you? And why should I not cut my hair at home? Why should I not cut my hair at home? Or have or have relatives cut it? And any home <laughs> tips for keeping my hair healthy? Ah, that was my wife's question. Any oh, good. Oh. Home tips <laughs> for keeping my hair healthy till I get back. I'll, I'll just leave that out. Okay. 132, where are we at? You're on. <laughs> huh? You're on. You're live. Oh, I'm live. You're live. <laughs> Am I live? You're live. I can't be live. How am I live? Sorry, I don't know. Everybody. I see you on Sorry. Facebook. <laughs> I am live. Did not expect that. Uh, welcome. <laughs> I was just, I don't know. I just lost my brain for a second there. Um, so anyway, welcome to episode eight. I can't believe it's episode eight. Listen, uh, in the lower uh, left corner of the video, right about there, you're going to see a purple popcorn. Click it. That's a watch button. And what that does is that tells all of your followers that you're watching a video. And then they can jump on and watch it with you if they're interested. And obviously it's Wine with Dave, so they're extremely interested. Okay, so thanks. So do that and I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for the people that are on already. Who's on already? Uh, Keith Peck, cheers. Keith, we're going to be talking about you in a few minutes. Um, hopefully you can hear me. I got everything on. I, I was just warming up and, geez, all these, everything happens. I need a producer. Need a producer. Uh, Rick Greenwood is watching, says Rick Greenwood. That's good. That's good. Dave England says Dave England's live. Uh, happy Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Yeah. Last day of the week. I'm not worn out from doing this. I, I, I love this. And I've been getting a lot of comments. So thank you, everybody, for the comments. This is cool having a show like this where I get to move the logo. And where is it? Move the logo wherever I want. So, um, yeah. Keith Peck says you are live. That's correct. I am live. I'm not dead yet. And someone else says, cheers, Jordan Y. Lewis. You're going to hear a lot about her. She's actually on hold. She's going to be one of my guests tonight for Friday. And if you're a little down in the dumps because it's rainy or cold or whatever, wherever you are, Jordan will cheer you up. She is a, a full pot of Starbucks. Let me tell you. Me? Keith Peck says me. No, Keith, not you. Jordan is the full full pot of Starbucks. So thanks guys for coming on. It's National Sibling Day. All right. It's National Siblings Day. So um, who has brothers and sisters? Raise your hand. Just say how many you have. You know, uh, Jackie Gerhauser Midler. Hi, Jackie. She's on. Hey, Jackie. She says hi. Uh, Jordan Lewis has three. So you could just put in how many siblings you have. It's National Sibling Day. I'm the I I used to goof with my mom about this. I would say I'm the last of the litter. And she'd say, I sound like a dog. Why are you saying that? And she but she laughed. She loved it. I'm last of the litter. I was last of five. My oldest sibling is Donna. And then there's Steven. And then there's Mike. And then there's Bill. And then there's me, the last of the litter. So I have five siblings. Greenwood's got two. Four siblings, that's right. It's me. Uh, yeah, you include my. You include me, yeah. Ricky has two, Joe. Ricky has two siblings. Is that including you, Rick? Because I think Joanne. I have five siblings. So you're the sixth. You include yourself as a sibling. No? Okay, cool. You have five siblings. Keith has three. Um, yeah, depending on how old your family is. I mean, these are 
used to be families of six and eight and 12. Now they're only like one and two. So anyway, uh, Shannon Nicole McNutt has six. Hi, Shannon. Six. Shannon writes in. She has six. Jackie has three and four in-laws. Oh, you had to get technical. You have three siblings and four in-laws. They're, they're, they're family. Sure, they're, they're part of your family. Well, thanks for joining Wine with Dave. Um, I've been doing this now for eight days. This is episode eight. Cool. Um, growing in numbers, lots of people watching, so I'm, I'm having fun with that. So uh, what am I going to say today? Yeah, National Sibling Day. It's also National Silence Day. And it's a good thing I looked up what it was. I just assumed, oh, great. I'll make the announcement that it's National Silence Day. And just not talk for like a minute. And that's embarrassing because it has nothing to do with that. It's actually serious. I looked it up. You got to look things up, people. Um, it's actually um, anti-bullying for the LBGT community. The anti-bullying. It was started, I have it here. If you want to look into it. National Day of Silence. It's uh, every April each year is a student-led movement to protest bullying and harassment of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender students and those who support them. So it was started uh, uh, in a college, University of Virginia, in 96. It was part of a like nonviolent protest class assignment thing. So uh, it's good. Bullying is no joke. You shouldn't bully. Hey, can you turn that TV down? It's real loud. See, that's bullying. I just bullied my boy. Uh, but no, kidding aside, um, you think we're past this, but bullying is just so big it's just big everywhere i remember i got bullied by this kid i'm gonna say his name because i don't even know if he's in rhode island michael de santos he was like a football player he was a jock and i hated jocks back in the day they were just annoying and he he punched me and punched me like in the wrist and i had a, a watch that i had just gotten for my birthday and it broke off and fell on the fell on the ground and i was my heart was just pounding i'm like because you can't go after him he's just big he's huge i was a little kid this is like it was like two years ago um so uh i don't know what grade i was in so i but i was ballsy enough to go talk to the principal i said i just gotta let you know you know michael de santos he kicked the my watch off my hand he was bullying me he's like let's go find him so he gets on the phone and he finds out what class he was in at the time he was in the gym class so i had to walk with my principal to the gym class and, of course, all the students are looking at the principal walking by. Like, where's he going with that student? And then he, like, did this thing. You know, every student, every principal does the whole, you know, calls him over. So he called him over. I'm like, I didn't want you to call him when I'm here. Oh, my gosh. But he said, I heard you kick Dave England's watch off his wrist. And, uh, but he, that principal stood up for me. That was good. Um, but he didn't have the watch. He said, I don't know where it is because I guess when he when he, he well, actually he like he drop kicked my wrist and it fell on the ground. But there's thousands of kids going by. So someone picked it up or I lost my watch. So Michael DeSantos, if you're out there, look at me now. I still don't wear watches. <laughs> I still don't wear watches. You're bullying me. Um, so it's National Day of Silence. So think about that. Think about really, you know, promoting. um acceptance of all people i don't care who you are even if you're joanne england you gotta just love her um it's that national siblings day too uh what's next on the agenda i'm trying to have an agenda guys because it's really important um uh kendra harrell says hi i'm with you so kendra you're either with me meaning you're with my point about bullying anti-bullying or you're with me, you're here live. But either way, I will accept either way. Um, and then Dave Stebbin reaching Lincoln. That's good. We got Dave Stebbin from Lincoln. Who's that guy on the Today Show that was the Smuckers guy? We got Dave Stebbins, 100 years old. What's his name? Who's that guy? 
I think he died. No, not Al Roker. Not Al Roker. Kendra Harrell says she's live. Live, yes. Um, so, good. National Silence Day, Bullying Day. I got some really cool treats today. Seriously. Um, but first, I want to show something. Keith Peck, are you out there? Keith. And tell me if my mic is too loud. I, I, I get excited. I'm an excitable boy. He's an excitable boy, Mr. England. We've got to do something with him. He's an excitable boy. Um... So is Keith there? Keith, I think Keith is here. Be quiet. Oh, Ron Sweeney, be quiet or I'll beat you up. See that? You want to be sarcastic, Ron? I'm going to put your name in front of everybody. So shh. Yes, sir. Keith Peck is here. Okay. Got a fun, fun night. I'm going to do, I, I got a segment that I'm going to do called Playing with Apps. And I'm actually going to, the apps are going to be all over on this side of the screen. And I'm going to be over here. You're still going to see my beautiful head, but I'm going to be playing with some apps. It's going to be cool. But um, let me do this first. Keith Peck, amazing guy. He was in the National Guard. hoo Can you say that to the National Guard guys? I don't know if you can. Uh, Willard Scott. Yes, Jordan Willis. J Jordan Lewis says Willard Scott was the Smuckers guy. Jordan Lewis turned 100 years old today, smuckers. Uh, so where was I? Um, I'm having a squirrel day. You say squirrel and I'm looking the wrong way. Uh, Keith Peck, Keith Peck, National Guard. Can you say who we are to them? I don't know if you can. But Keith, uh, Keith, just type in what, what you're doing lately and I'll show a video. Or maybe I should just show the video now. Um, yeah, let me, let me show the video now and you could just type in what you're doing. He's really trying to coordinate among a lot of restaurants in Rhode Island to donate food to the National Guard. There's about 900 of them. There's actually 900 of them in Rhode Island. Deployed, I guess it's called, to different locations to keep the New Yorkers out of Rhode Island. I don't know. That's part of it. But uh, they're in groups of 50 or 100, and he's trying to get restaurants to bring food. Um, one of my clients, Waltz Roast Beef, is already on board. They've already been doing it and you might have seen the video of it so that's cool um so who yeah but it's generally frowned upon so he's doing a great job let me just show this video okay shall we so this is a video of keith check this out good afternoon my name is keith beck i'm a former member of the rhode island national guard i'm reaching out today to try to uh seek some donations for the members of the rhode island national guard that are currently on orders for COVID-19, there are approximately 900 people that are out across Rhode Island, such as CCRI, Rhode Island College, um, the Citizens Bank location in Cranston. And I just want to try and get them some food besides the typical army rations that they have. So far, I've had commitment from Benda Ravioli, Waltz Roast Beef, uh, Costantino's Restaurant as a possibility. And I'd like to have some more support to offer a couple different offerings. Uh, right now, Waltz Roast Beef is sponsoring Waltz Wednesdays, where they provide a hot meal. Um, last week they were at CCRI Warwick, and I'm hoping to have some Rhode Island restaurants get together for a good cause. In addition to this, I have been in touch with the Rhode Island Military State Volunteer. They have a pantry that is accepting donations as well for the smaller amounts of food that you could give, as well as taking meals. It could be two or three meals and getting them into a family that has a little bit less or a little less fortunate than you or I may have. Uh, please reach out at any time. I have a truck. I want to come pick up the food. I just want to do my part to help the state in this dire need. Uh, stay safe, everybody. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good job, Keith. Um, so, yeah, if anybody out there, and there, there are business people out there that are listening to me, I know. If you know any restaurant owner, just call them, you know, because, can't, and Keith and I talked about this today. Can you... If, if you're in the National Guard, can you just go out and stop at Taco Bell and eat? Of course you can. But what it does, it builds morale. And uh, let's see what Keith has to say. Yeah, it's tri triage centers. Um, so he's, uh, this is what Keith says right now, attempting to get donations for 900 soldiers on order. Um, and then he says, also military families that are less fortunate, filling the pantry with donations and such. So they can buy their own food, but there's something about the emotion of that, that they're working hard and putting themselves at risk and, you know, Venda Ravioli or, or whatever, all these restaurants is just saying, look, 
I just want to give you a meal so you don't have to buy tonight. That just means so much. It's just so moving. So if you know anybody, uh, if you know any restaurant owner, and he's accepting, as you can tell right here, donations accepted of all types, monetary. Um, I wonder if he can just make bagels and treats and brownies and stuff. I don't know. Maybe they would take that. So, But, but uh, locate Keith. He's on here. You just click on his name, go to his Facebook page, and ask to be his friend if you know anybody. Anybody, even even a baker, someone who just bakes cakes and candies and stuff like that. So I'm sure anything helps. Anything helps. But I want to just thank Keith for doing that, uh, doing a great job. And hopefully we'll check in next week to see how good he's doing. It is 9.15. It's a Smucker's evening. It's funny. Some things just stick with me all night. So it's going to be a Smucker's Friday. Smucker's Friday. Who are we going to talk to next? How about Jordan Lewis from Sky Candle? She's a cutie, isn't she? Cuter than me. I'd rather have I'd rather have someone more attractive on screen than me. Jordan Lewis is in the wings. I'm going to bring her on, and she's funky. She's spunky. She's got purple hair, um, but she's out of work, and she's a hair colorist. So dare I say, she's dying to get back to work. Yeah, that's. I thought that was funny. You ready to come on? You ready to come on? Let's see. I'm ready. Let's, let's bring on Jordan. Hi, Jordan Lewis. How are you doing? Hi, Dave. I am okay. I'm doing all right tonight. How are you? You're doing okay. That's awesome. Uh, let me get. Whoops. Hold on. I think I just lost you for a second. There you are. Oh, there I'm you here. are. Um, I'm. I'm using a better camera to try to look at least halfway good as you, because you always look great. So. Oh, thanks. My quarantine chic. <laughs> Your chic look. Yeah. Jordan Lewis, Sky Candle Studio. Tell me about Sky Candle. You're, it's funny. That's, that's not normally a name for a, a hairstylist, but I love it. Where did this Sky oh, Candle come it, up with? It's a, it's a fun story. Um, it's a really geeky story. Um, I'm a literary nerd. Um, and when I was in 10th grade, I took a Brit Lit class, so British literature class with this awesome, cute little, like, in her 70s or 80s little teacher who was obsessed with Shakespeare. Um, and we were learning about what is called a Shakespearean kenning, which is two words or multiple words that make up a phrase that means something. So I always joke that the new ones are things like when we say, oh, coffee is our lifeblood. Obviously, coffee doesn't really sustain us, but we say it does. Oh, yeah. Um, and Sky Candle is an old uh, Norse... Uh, it's an old Norse kenning, um, and it traditionally meant the sun, um, and it became a little more prominent um, in Beowulf, which I'm sure everyone remembers from, like, sophomore year of high school, reading Beowulf and hating mm. your life. Um, but So basically, read. what the reason that I always loved it was I felt like if you, we had to memorize all these kennings, we had to memorize, like, what they mean, and I always remember that it would always be one that kind of stumped people because they would go, well, what does it mean? Is it the sun? Is it the moon? Is it a star? And so I kind of always liked that because I feel like I have clients that are so different that it's like, oh, well, Dave, what do you think a sky candle is? And you could say, oh, the moon. And you could ask your wife, like, hey, what do you think a sky candle is? And you could say the sun. So I kind of wow. just went with it. It's something that always stuck with me. So, so you yeah. like the mystery. You love mysteries. Yeah. I do. I enjoy, I enjoy people having different views of things. What would I think of a sky candle? If someone said sky candle, I don't think sun, although that is the flame, but I would think candles like at night, I would think the moon. Oh, okay. See, that's usually the moon is more what I go for. So you haven't been to my studio, Dave, so you'll have to come by and see it. But yeah, thanks for embarrassing very... me in front of 500 million people. I Just have, I've have come, come close. Up. I've come close. Well, you have no hair anymore, so. <laughs> That's right. But I will come by. I'll bring my daughter. Alina wants to, you know, do the yeah. do the color thing. You'll, you'll have to come in. It is very uh, celestial themed. It's got lots of blues and golds and phases of the moon and tarot cards and yeah, really nice. fun stuff. So it's, it's really cool. People always say they feel really comfortable when they come in, so. That's good. Well, there's her logo right there. Boom. Sky Candle Studio. Oh. So, oh, you got a moon. So it is kind of a moon. It is, yeah. Uh, so you give away the secret. It is a moon. So, all right, well, let me start. Um, yeah, I'm not in the studio. I'm in my home. I'm at my kitchen table. 
Mm, yes, from the I kitchen am also table. At, uh, so I got dogs barking and everything. Couple of questions here. Uh, how are you doing? You're not working. You're not an essential business. That that's a slap in the Sadly. face. Huh? You're not essential. <laughs> Sadly, I'm not. Um, I'm doing all right. Um, I think I'm just trying to keep really positive. Um, as you know, we're um, Dave and I know each other through BNI, which is a really awesome networking uh, group, the largest networking group in the world. Um, and so we've been having our meetings every week, which we really love. And then I kind of take that and meet even with my clients. Mm. I, I talk to my clients all the time, my friends, my family, just trying to keep that momentum up and keep people feeling happy and know that I'm still thinking about them and that this really isn't a vacation. You know, we really have to take it seriously and we have to, you know, help the world heal and help everyone get better. Mm -hmm. um, and I personally, I have my dad who's in his sixties and he um, has a compromised lung from severe asthma. So for him, he's high risk. My grandmother, she's 85. Um, and I help to babysit her. Um, she is living in, Alzheimer's bliss. She has no idea. She has Alzheimer's, but she's rocking it. And so oh, good I go over. Yeah, I go over and I take care of her. So one of the things with the more time that I have off is being able to go over there and kind of spend time with her and help take care of her during this and keep her inside so she doesn't have to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Sorry. Yeah. Um, that's really good. That takes a heart of gold. It, it refines you. I, I've done that and it refines you. Uh, yeah. so a couple questions. Actually, my wife had a question when people with long hair, uh -huh. okay, clearly not me. This is not my question. When people, oh, let me open this up. When people sure. with long hair do when they, oh, I, I worded this weird. Basically, That's what, okay. what do people with long hair do? Okay. Mm -hmm. When they have to wash it every day. But but it's going to dry out. So what what do they do? Long hair, and because they, they can't go to a, a salon like yours to get a cut. So uh, the one thing I would say is that washing your hair every day is actually a little bit excessive. Um, the only time that I do understand it is, for example, my mom's a nurse, um, and obviously being in the medical field, being in PPE all the time, she does wash her hair after you know every time she's at work. Um, so one thing is actually if you're someone who's home and you're not. Uh, working or you're not going out into the environment every day is mm -hmm. actually a great time to try and push your um, your hair washing cycles to at least every other day because basically when you wash your hair every day you're stripping the natural oils away from your scalp mm -hmm. and that's what's drying your hair out or on the other end your hair ends up getting greasier and more oily because since you're stripping away those natural oils your scalp is thinking, oh my God, you're drying me out. I need to make more oil. So I usually suggest that people start at least cutting down if they're washing their hair seven times a week, try to wash it six times a week. And you'll start noticing your hair will kind of even itself out with that type of cycle. So this is a perfect time to try that. Cause a lot of my clients will be like, oh no, my hair is going to get so greasy. And I'm like, no, trust me. You just have to kind of try to break that cycle. So I would say it's a good time to cut down on the washing, mm -hmm. do the messy one, rock the dry shampoo and try to ride it out. Ride it out. Yeah. I've been letting my, my beard grow a little bit. My hair actually, it's coming back. I got yep. I'm like, Oh my gosh, I got to shave it again. It just it feels, feels weird, right? <laughs> it feels weird. I have hair. Oh my gosh. Um, so there's a lot of people running to the box dyes. Oh, or the do it yourself. Die. Is that yep. bad for you? Answer. Yeah. So Here's here's the thing with box dye. I think that a lot of times clients think that when we as professionals talk about box dye that we're just trying to embarrass them or that we're just trying to shun them from, from doing it themselves or that we're just trying to take their money. Mm -hmm. And it's really not true. The reason is that box color is basically trying to be like a one size fits all t-shirt. It's really it's it's problematic for a couple of reasons it has a really high ammonia content um which we know ammonia is really harsh it really doesn't smell good so when someone yeah. says oh it smells like hair dye that's what they mean um and also it has a lot of extra chemicals in it to keep it shelf stable when we mix our professional color we're opening up a new tube we're using new product every time we're mixing it in professional ratios and we're formulating it for you mm -hmm. so the issues with these colors is that you 
typically will not get the result you're looking for. You could have a severe allergic reaction. Uh, you could cause chemical burns to your scalp. Um, so there's just a lot of things. My biggest thing is, especially if you are a woman or a man who's worried about, say, gray coverage, you still have to go into the office or you still have to, you're an essential worker. There are great products that are sprays, powders, little touch-up products that are washable every night. They don't cause any permanent color or any permanent damage, and they'll get you through until you can make it to the, ne the next color with your stylist. Yeah, someone was telling me today that um, in two weeks, 80% of the women will not be blonde anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been joking about you're going to see, we, we call it show your roots. You're going to show your roots. Who, who hashtag really show is. your roots. Yep, that is, a new, that is a new hashtag going around. Hashtag show your roots. Do you think so, that uh, because of this pandemic that women might just say, I'm going to go natural, you know, just let some gray um, come out? Let's say I like they're going to try. They're going to try and then they're going to get frustrated. And as soon as we open back up, they're going to go, screw this. I want to get it done again. You think like 100% of them will go back and be like, yeah, I'm done. A decent amount, yes. Yeah. Because um, the thing is there was a huge trend with like fashion gray color, which, you know, you'd see all over Pinterest, Facebook, Google, where these young girls would have this gorgeous, like silvery, gray, ashy color. And older women would say, oh, I just want to grow my hair out like that. But most women are not gray enough to have that. So even if they were to grow out their hair, I would say maybe only 10% of my clients are at the point where their gray is that bad, where they could grow their hair out to a full gray. So it is a little disappointing. I have one client, she's pretty young, she's in her fifties and she, all she wants is to be all gray and she's only like 20% gray. I'm like, I'm sorry, you gotta wait another like 50 years before you grow that out. Wow, Rick Greenwood says, I know girl, I'll show my roots. <laughs> Rick, Do it Rick. Rick is showing his roots. So basically, if you're a woman and you've got a little bit of gray, it's there's a point where you yep. just keep dyeing it until you know it's really going to be full gray. So it's it doesn't look good to have so, streaks of gray. No, so um, even some on people, Halloween, just, huh? <laughs> even on Halloween, no. Even on Halloween, so it depends. It depends on what people uh, want to do. There's different um, formulations I can do. One of the things that I will do specifically, usually with men, but sometimes with women who aren't very gray, but they still want to not, they still want to look youthful or they still feel like being gray is a little too much. Mm -hmm. I'll do what's called gray blending, which doesn't fully cover the gray, but it kind of helps to tint it. So it's not so noticeable against the natural hair. Oh, or if you're yeah. someone, yep. Or if you're someone uh, like my grandmother, she's 85 and I color her hair every six weeks. She just, she's, she likes being blonde. She likes having, her hair colored and I think it, you know, makes her feel good. It makes her feel pampered. So mm -hmm. I think it's a personal preference for a lot of people. Chris Maynard says some women are beautiful with streaks of gray. I think so. It's just, it's, I agree. it's almost empowering. I agree. It's empowering. They're like, they're grabbing onto their, like, this is who I am. Yeah. You know, that's a big, that's a big thing in the beauty world that everyone jokes about is that when men get gray in their hair, they're distinguished and they're, you know, yeah. handsome. And then when women get gray in their hair, you know, they're old and they're witchy and they're, you know, this and that. So I agree. I think that I have some clients that don't, that don't color their hair. And I think it's great. I think that whatever you feel comfortable in is what you should do. That's always my philosophy is I'm not trying to make you a different person. I always want you to feel the best that you can feel. Yep. And if coloring your hair pink, purple, or black makes you feel good, do it. If growing your hair out to your butt and gray is what you want to do, do it. <laughs> growing, gr growing your hair out to your butt. Oh, actually, I've had it. I had a girl who grew her hair out to her knees and then cut it off and donated it. Wow. Does anyone yeah. have any hair that grows from the butt up? Or... Oh, I don't think we should talk about that. That would be it. I think that's a little bit past our Live. Facebook live. We, I should talk. have never, ever said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have never said that. Um, what do they say about women? Uh, what do they say about men who shave their heads? Oh, about what about men who shave their heads? I, don't I think know. that I mean, you must hear oh, phrases. You know? So I don't know. See, it's funny because I'm not a barber. So um, the difference between uh, cosmetologists and barbering licenses is that barbers are allowed to do a hot shave. They're allowed to use a straight razor. Um, so they do that really close, hot lather shave and everything. Yeah. Um, so 
there it's a really great business for barbers for me it doesn't do as much obviously um but i think it's also an empowering thing like you i feel like you said it when you did your live video that it's it's a whole it's it's kind of freeing Mm -hmm. um it's a new thing for you so i think it's great if guys and again you know what If, if this is the time to try it Shave your head by all means under supervision. Under supervision, <laughs> but, yes. Chris Maynard says, we are beautiful. He shaved his head. I know, Chris. Like, um, he likes to be bald and beautiful. Yeah. Ed Berta says, what's wrong with shaved heads? Nothing, <laughs> actually. They're all good, Ed. Nothing. Um, another question. Um, yes. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Why should I not cut my hair at home or even have relatives? Or Ooh, your, your crazy okay. So here's the someone cut your hair that's related to you what's wrong with that (laughs) so here's the thing we obviously don't want the return of bowl haircuts um but you know everyone i feel in the 90s talk about siblings day i feel like if we look back at pictures everyone had a bowl haircut but the issue is first of all safety um i don't think people realize how difficult it is to actually cut through hair um we our scissors or shears depending it's kind of a uh term you can switch back and forth but our shears are so sharp that like you can cut into your bone if you were to cut into your finger um they're sharper think about kitchen knives we get our our shears sharp in the same way Mm -hmm. um so it's first of all safety because if you were to cut through hair it's going to kick back on you you can cut yourself um and then also just it's a lot harder for us to fix, you know, by the time you, by the time you come back in, um, I feel bad because especially with women, um, who feel a connection to length, um, sometimes they'll cut their hair and then they come in and they go, I want it to be evened out, but they're four inches off. And then they cry because they're like, how could you cut my hair so short? Yeah. And I'm like, you cut it at home. You'd still retain those four inches, but Um, And I get that a lot of times with men, unfortunately, um, especially in this time of crisis, that some men are still going to work. They have dress codes where they have to be clean shaven or their hair has to be above the collar, Mm -hmm. Um, especially speaking of like National Guard, you know, a lot of military, they um, they don't even have barbers. They're closed down right now. So I know a lot of people are, are cutting their hair at home. Um, at least with men and clippers, there are safety guards on clippers. Right, right. So they're a little bit easier to do at home. Mm-hmm. So that would be my only suggestion if you is if you are, you know, specifically a, a male or a woman who has shorter hair that you can use a safety clipper. Um, that's okay. But I would just say if you have longer hair, pull it back, put it in a braid, just do something to kind of get yourself through because I feel like it's going to cause a little bit of issue by the time that you get out of all of this. Um, And it, it just, it doesn't look good by the end of it. (laughs) I have to cut off more than you want. (laughs) Right. That's cool. Ed Berta says, by the way, kudos, Dave, not too many people can say my last name correctly on the first try. Well, that looks simple, Ed, Ed Berta. I don't know how else I would have said it, but um that's great jordan so how um hopefully you'll get back to work you will eventually i hope so Uh, i'm ready i'm ready i miss my clients we got your phone number here right i can't jump over to your screen but uh if you just do this with your hand you can point to your phone number Uh, yeah you can call me on this phone number you can text me you can follow me on facebook you can message me on facebook um i am right now i am booking right now um because my business is in attleboro massachusetts uh, we are following Governor Baker's orders of being closed right now until the 4th, but tentatively reopening that week. So if you want to book a consultation with me, consultations are free, um, or I can do a quick consultation over the phone for you. Um, I do take families as well, uh, children, husbands, wives, kids. Mm. Um, so if you need the whole, you got to bring the whole family in at the end of it, we'll bring, get you taken care of. <laughs> bring the whole family. Bring Aunt Edna in. Yeah. wonder if you can do a Skype cut. Yeah, there you go. Listen up. Someday you'll be able to do a Skype cut. We just show up and just virtual cut, you know, right through Skype. Virtual cut. Right through. That'd be yeah. crazy. That's funny. Huh? Don't say that. I, I'm already fearful that computers are going to take all our jobs. Don't don't do that to me. Oh, they will, and they are. No, uh, Chris Maynard, stalker in real life. So, guys, you know what? She's out of work. I feel really bad. I know you're you're a strong, positive person, Jordan. But but text Thank her. You. you know, you got her number here, guys. Text her and just encourage her. Tell her that you saw her on. Okay. 
on Wine yeah, with Dave, so and uh, you're just uh, hoping for, praying for, work's going to get back May 4th-ish, right around yeah, there? Yeah, ish, hopefully. Um, yeah. You can also purchase, um, I'll post my website underneath here, you can also purchase gift cards. Um, and then that way, what happens is the money does go directly into, you know, my work account and it stays there. Um, and it's a nice way to keep business flowing, like money flowing. Yeah. And then that way you can kind of treat yourself at the end of this. So say you, you know, you want a haircut, you can go right on there, buy yourself a gift certificate. Um, nice. it's an online certificate. Um, and then you can basically treat yourself, you know, you could pay the money now and then you can treat yourself when this is all over. And mm -hmm. so that's a great way for a lot of businesses. I know restaurants are doing it as well, purchase gift cards. Um, right. and that way we can keep the economy going. And I think that's one of my favorite things is that you can treat yourself, you know, get a gift card for your husband or for your wife for their favorite restaurant. And when you can finally go back out, mm -hmm. you know, take them out, buy a gift certificate to the movies and take them out. So mm -hmm. I think that if we can all kind of keep the stimulus going and keep, keep the money flowing in and out and just, I think we can get through it. Right. That's why I'm doing this show. One of the reasons is to really keep promoting businesses. So you're top of mind, right? So, um, I don't want people to forget that there are people that are trying to stay in business and they just, they're being forced to shut down. So I'm so glad you're on the show. Um, Thank you. Where are you located? I know, but I just want you to tell everybody. Right um, so I, I am on Route 1 in Attleboro. Mm -hmm. So it's super, super easy. Um, I am in the plaza that's right in front of the BJ's. Um, I am next to Staples and Burlington Co. Factory. So literally right on Route 1 in Attleboro. Yep. If you know anything about Attleboro, it's that road. So I'm on that road in Attleboro. <laughs> and all you Rhode Island Pawtucket people mainly right up the road what seven minutes Literally. five minutes away yeah you're you're right there you're in Absolutely. Attleboro 295 but... 95 495 you can get to me Attleboro is basically north Pawtucket I mean it's, it's, it's north Rhode it, Island it, it, it's basically yeah like you said Rhode Island north <laughs> but do you guys call Rhode Island south Attleboro <laughs> South South Attleboro. South Attleboro is like a made up town it's not really even a town yeah. people just call it <laughs> I know. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. And uh, I'm with you. Power to the women. Power to the business Woo! owners. You're going to do well, Jordan. Um, thank you, I will, I will be sure to uh, let people know that. And uh, please, everybody, just share about Jordan Lewis. Just, you know, put it in the comments. Just say, yay, Jordan Lewis. Um, just share it. Share this video with people that you know. Yeah. Women who are maybe 50, 55 that might want to go all gray or whatever. It just needs a consultation. Uh, Jordan will sit with you. Free consultation. I know it's a Ooh, funky like, studio. I've been in that Solar Studios. It's really cool. It's adorable. You walk in yeah. and you're to the left, right? I am the first one on the left. I have a little bay window all to myself, so it's really cool. Wait, you're the one facing the parking lot? You get like No, I'm one in from there. Okay. One in from there. Okay. So she has the outside window and I have like a little corner bay window right across from her. I can still actually see out her window. You can but see out the window. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, she's got a great spot right there. So you're one away from that. I'm, I'm adjacent to her. Yeah, location, location, location. Um, but it's mm -hmm. great. You walk in there. There's a bunch of salons. You really got to go to visit. Uh, I'm not speaking to yeah. you. I'm speaking to like everyone else listening. You go in and everyone's got their cubicle, but it's, it's like a, a little mini studio. And you go yep. in one, it's like a completely different world. It's great. Yep. I would say it's kind of like an artist collective. So it's kind of like when you go into a mill building and there's a whole bunch of, you know, small businesses. It's very similar, but we're just all, we're all salons. We have women. We have a, um, a woman who does like facial rejuvenation. We have a woman who just does brows. Oh, I can't wait to go back to her. Um, mm. We have a uh, smile direct, which does teeth whitening and straightening. So we have so many cool things that it's really nice. We can kind of bounce back and forth and send people to each other. So it's a really great, like positive environment. But at the same mm. time, I have my own private space. So, you know, you can come in and you can chat with me privately and we just have our own little rapport. So it's really cool. Yeah. And are you, are you usually at a loss of words? Like you're not super friendly. I'm horrible. I'm tired. I, I have no friends. I can never talk ever. You are so no, I always, talk I always want people to, I always want people to feel like they're at home when they come into my space. So come in, have a cup of coffee, cup of tea, cup of wine. I feel at home. <laughs> if you live with chatterboxes, Hey, knock it off. I got dogs. <laughs> 
Bree says, Bree says, he. She says, hey. Oh, I talked to Bree earlier. We had, a, we had a lovely chat earlier. <laughs> you know Bree. Cool. Okay. It's hey, cool. listen, thanks for coming on the show. And, thanks, uh, Steve. We will, I will send people your way. I'll let people know that That's Sky great. Candle Studio, you got to go there. Attleboro, just north of Pawtucket. Um, yeah. Bring your lady, your special friend there. Uh, it's really, yes. really good. All right. Take care, Jordan. Bye, Dave. Bye-bye. Well, that was a lot of fun. I don't have hair. Otherwise, I would uh, go see her. I am going to visit her, though. I am going to visit her. But hey, listen, this is the time of the show. Keith says, thanks for spreading the word. Yeah, Keith, you're doing a great job. I mean, Keith, you know a lot of people uh, who are restaurant owners trying to rally them up, get the last sue, and um, get them to donate food to the National Guard to help those boys out and girls to um, take care of um, these pretty much hand-dropped triages that are all over the state, CCRI, Groton, uh, Groton uh, Quonset, and different places. So there you go. And Jordan just left this thing. There it is. Go there, Sky Candle Studio dot gloss genius dot com i don't have the red bouncy ball yet that's that's down the road http send me colon forward slash forward slash sky candle studio dot gloss genius dot com we got to talk later about shortening that domain but anyway go to her website you can book you can book and do do your your bookings there and, and send your lady and if you're a lady send yourself there you owe yourself something uh, who else do we have? Shannon Nicole McNutt. Yes, supporting the troops and local business. So important. Absolutely, Shannon. And that's what Keith is doing. So um, if you haven't seen Keith's video, just watch this video again. And uh, once it's done, because we are live and you'll see the video. But ready? You guys ready for something fun? Uh, I hope you are. I hope you are. This is a little segment I called... Playing with apps. I, I'm going to do some creative stuff. And Jordan kind of inspired me. Because I knew she'd be on the show. Knew she'd be on the show. It's a wonderful show. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, this is what I'm going to do. So what did, what did Rick say? Rick's saying something here. Send a salami to our boys in the army. <laughs> Isn't that a song? No, there was a business that used to do that, right? They send a salami to the boys in the army. All right, check this out. How's this, huh? What do you think of that? This is my phone. Over to right over there. So this is called Dave Plays With Apps. You know what? Let me reduce the logo. This isn't so high tech, guys. Just hang in there, okay? I'm going to do some creative stuff. And I want you to give me a little uh, thumbs up if you like this. Um, this is one of my favorite apps. Can you see that right down right over there, the bottom row, Pixel Loop? All right, so what you do, I think it's about 12 bucks a year, and it's well worth it if you're creative. Oh, my gosh, I waste so much time on it. It's a drug to me, Pixel Loop. So what you do with Pixel Loop is you bring in a photo. Well, heck, I'll show you. Pixel Loop, there it is, all right? It's by Enlight, and uh, I have a lot of their stuff. So this is a photo I downloaded, and I just went to, on my phone. I just, you know, downloaded it. Uh, Easter Sunday's coming up. Today's Good Friday. Um, so, you know, this move the stone, you know. Jesus is alive, this Easter Sunday thing. So I, I downloaded that image, all right, and here's, I can blow it up for you if you want to see it. It's, it's actually, an, it's like an animation. It's not a real stone, but. It's got some depth of focus there. It's pretty cool. But watch what I do to this thing. Watch what I do. All right, you can't see it, but it's below the black area. It's just below there. There's, there's a whole list of things, okay? Uh, here we go. Ready? Ready for Dave Plays With Apps? Uh, I'm going to do effects, and I'm going to do this thing, which we don't know what that does, but you, you play it and see how it... Uh, can you see that? It's just moving particles around. There's different types of particles. This is one that is um, sparkles. So if you have a photo of yourself and anything in the photo is white, like if you're smiling, 
and your teeth are white, that's where the animation goes. It goes to anything white. Uh, I'm a white guy, so it just fills my face. No, just kidding. Um, um, yeah, there's a lot I could say about that. All right, so here's another one. And see the little slider down there? I'm just moving it down. It's a little less. It's a little more. That's like a yellow kind of thing. So here's another one. You know, uh, blow it up. Look at that thing. Is that cool? Is that cool or what? There's different sparkles. Um, you're going to love it. You're going to love playing with this thing. So let me let me pick one of the sparkles. And I'm going to tone it down a little bit because you don't want to be in your face. When you when you're when you're when you push the the whole envelope of animation and go all out, you just look like a newbie. You don't want to look like a newbie. So, yeah, just very subtle. Well, I'll go a little bit more. All right, just a little glowing thing, like kind of holy and he is risen type of thing. Okay, so now now I go back and I can do overlays, which you again you can't see overlays, but here's an overlay. There's an overlay, fire. So this this app will just take a photo and animate on top of the photo, okay? If you want to remember it, rain, butterflies, bouquet lighting. That's a cool thing, right? This is pretty wild. All right, what do you guys think of this? Leave a comment so I know you're, you know. Ed Berta says, app is a lot of fun. App's a lot of fun. Chris Maynard. He's, <laughs> why are you wearing a mask? Dude, I'm, I'm like miles away from you. It's okay. Here's another thing, smoke. But there's a lot of things. I don't like those for this particular photo. So we're going to just go with that, okay? And then, this is what I like. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. 3D motion. This is like 12 bucks. Ready? Boom. It moves. It converts your photo into 3d realistic the for it knows the foreground because it's blurry it's in the foreground it's kind of like a depth of field thing so it knows that's in the foreground so that moves faster and things that are further away a little bit in focus move slower it's just got a brain it's crazy unlike me it's got a brain chris maynard says ha 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 all right so that's cool but there's different types of movement Look at that. Imagine the fun you could have. Hours of fun, kiddos. This is left and right. This is up and down. Up and down says yes. No, left and right. Okay. So there's there's all kinds of things here. I just wanted to just turn you on to an app. Um, Element is like little things you can put in there. Like, look at that. I, I put in some smoke. Smoke on the water. Okay. Put some smoke. Exit out. Maybe I don't want smoke. Maybe you want a little little cup of coffee to wake you up in the morning. Maybe they didn't move the stone. Maybe they moved the cup of coffee. And Jesus came out. So, you know. Um, check this out. You get the point. But this is what's really cool, okay? So do you see that little eraser? So I tap the eraser, and I erase out the middle. So the animation does not happen in the middle. Um, well, that looks horrible. Yeah, that, that was bad. I shouldn't have shouldn't have done that. It, what it does, it erases the animation. But... Um, well, what is it doing? Yeah, it erases the animation so you don't need it. I, I get it. All right, so if I do that, but then I hit the paintbrush and I fill that in. Yeah, it, it looks bad, but I'd have to spend time with it. But you get the point, right? It's a cool app. You're going to love it. You're going to like the way you look. It's called, what's it called again? Pixel Loop. So check this out. I did this. I downloaded because because it re works really well with water and stuff. So here's here's water ripples. Check that out. Is that cool? Oh, let me show you one. Um, so new project, and then I downloaded this photo. All right. 
uh <laughs> dig it dude yeah rick likes it look at that all right that's just a photo pretty grainy it's a photo of a feather in the water right total masculine photo something that rick and chris maynard would be way into wicked masculine all right, but check this out. I'm going to make the water actually be water. Look at this. I'm going to hit. Where is it? Where's my water? Here's the water. Okay. And then there's my water. But I'm going to erase the top part because I don't need the background to ripple. I just want the foreground to ripple. Now, you can't really see that because that's a very subtle ripple. See how subtle that is? By the way, the, the feather itself is rippling. So what do you do? Oh, it's okay. We get rid of the feather. We don't let the feather ripple. All right. Boom. It's not rippling. Look how cool that is. Now, you can't see it, but under the black band, <coughs> there's different types of water. This is really wild. This one's subtle. Let me blow it up. Look at that. That's cool, huh? Some of them are subtle. Some are a little more less subtle. So let me just do, let me do, let me do that one. No, I'll do, I'll do that one, okay? So that looks cool, right? That looks pretty good. And if I wanted to add more in the background, I'll just, I just go like, just add right there, right there, a little there, okay? And there it is. Okay, so now I export it. And you can't see that button. That's in the upper right. But I can make it, what, 24 seconds long, 12 seconds? I'll do 12 seconds. Export. Bam. It's that easy. Now watch this. Here's where the fun starts, kiddos. <clears throat> um, save to photos. So now I go to my photos. Boom. There's the original photo. And then the one on the far right with the seconds is the one I just made. And it's rippling. But. I'm going to bring it into another app. <gasps> you can do that, Dave? Yes, you can. You can do that. So I'm going to bring it into Vaunt, lower right corner. Vaunt, and that's easy to remember because V is for video. It's, it adds text on videos. It's called Vaunt. Oh, and it would be taking time to download. It was in the cloud. you got to wait for things to come out of the cloud. You know? I get frustrated with that, but it's it's crazy that we're holding this little computer in our hand and, and we get mad that we have to wait to create digital art. But anyway, it's coming down. It's coming down. So what are people saying while we're waiting? Dig it, dude. Good thing there's an undo button. Yeah, there is. But wait, there's more. Yes, Greenwood says that is wild, wacky stuff. All right, it's down. Here we go, Vaunt. I'm going to open Vaunt. And now I am going to hit the camera at the bottom, which you can't see. Unfortunately, it cuts it off. I'm going to load a new video. Allow it. Yep, always allow. Recent. Boom. It is loading. Boom, it's in. All right. So now I tap it. I'm going to add text. So what should I say? Oh, and by the way, uh, in the middle it says align left. I always center, just center. So I don't know what to say. Um, National Siblings Day. Like, I don't like, let me just do like a feather in the wind. I don't know. Like, it's not in the wind. Like a feather in the water. All right. Now see that font? If you don't like it, it's okay. Look at these fonts. This is crazy. I'm a fontaholic. Is this crazy? Uh, Georgia Bold. Georgia Bold's kind of cool, but I'm not feeling Georgia Bold. I'm not feeling Georgia Bold. What am I feeling? I'm feeling Henny Penny. I'm feeling Henny Penny. <laughs> I'm, I'm like the only one in the room right now. You guys are listening to me, but I'm the only one in the room. And I'm like, I'm feeling Henny Penny. You should lock me up. Size, you hit size and you go, okay, move, boom, center it, boom, move it down right there, all right, that's cool, there it is, lots of fonts, then you hit the play button, 
look at that like a feather in the water all right and if that's not enough look at curve you you're kind of asking me right now dave what's curve do hang on there kiddos check it out curve as i move it to the right it curves it cur oh i could wrap it around the feather how's that huh boom oh yeah i'm designing live on the spot boom look at that look at that and then you just hit the button in the lower right export 1080p save the video it's exporting in live before your eyes open up the thing there's the thing where is it there it is like a feather in the wind water like a, that's horrible i would never design something like that by the way that's just the worst font for that uh but you can you can actually have the text come in at a certain time and leave so um keith says manly words uh actually he says manly words so um that's not too manly of you keith because that's you don't know how to speak uh so what do you guys think of that tell me what you think of that that's um that app is called pixel loop all right and um i i did uh i think on episode one you can go back and watch i believe it's on episode one i talk about all my favorite apps these are a few of my favorite apps and uh there's some some great stuff in there um i just love it but you know what when you do when you do funky things like that if you're in business you know you take your, your business logo or whatever you're selling or services or whatever and just add little animation sparkles or something put it out there you get more engagement when you get more engagement and by the way engagement is someone likes it or comments on it or shares one of the three when they do that the facebook bots are aware of that and they're aware that that post you put up is getting click, 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 okay? Like right now, I've got, I don't know how many clicks I've got. I got 63 comments. So this thing's going viral because you guys are commenting. That's why I'm asking you questions so you comment. The bots tell Facebook Central, hey, this has relevance. This post is getting a lot of engagement. Clicks, likes, shares. And so then it gets out to the people more. So that's a that's a little business trick we, we teach our clients to, you know, when you do animated stuff, it's it's really, it's cool. It's engaging. So that's that thing. Um, what else did I want to show? Oh, I wanted, this is funny. Are you guys into a trippy? It's 941, we get time. You're listening to Wine with Dave. And um, this is a little, I don't know what's in here. But it's good. Dave, that what did what did Jordan say? Jordan, that looks like a bad tattoo design. You are so right. That is a bad tattoo design. But watch this. I'm gonna go to Facebook. Hmm. This is going to trip you out. Who's that? Steve Mason. Oh my gosh, that's Steve Mason. All right, so I'm live on Facebook showing you Facebook live. All right. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go see Dave England, what he's doing. What's Dave England doing? Dave England's right here doing this. That's what Dave England's doing. Check this out. There I am. Live. Right here. Showing that guy. Live. Now watch. That's me. Again, turning on the live. <laughs> Someone play Pink Floyd, all right? I mean, just just do it now. It, it's scream. Someone do Pink Floyd. Play Pink Floyd. And look at that. It's going to go into infinity. It's me going live, showing you 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 me going live, right? Are we one, two, three, four, five? We're down to the sixth. Can you see that? Is that crazy? Shannon says, cheers, Dave. Cheers. Shannon, play some, f I was going to say Fleetwood Mac. No, that, that, that wouldn't work. Is that cool? Is that cool? It just keeps going. 
in going to infinity and beyond. I am not a toy. I thought that was cool. I just I just thought that was that was cool. There's oh by the way, there's Jordan, okay. Um hair colorist dying to get back to work. I thought that was a clever joke. But I just wanted to show you that. By the way, this um the reason let me show you this for a second. This is a cool app. I download this app for three bucks. It turns my phone into a second camera. So I can show my I can show my room. Here's my beautiful lights. I like lights. My kitchen. So here's here's what here's what's happening. This is behind the scenes. Wine with Dave. The camera goes down there, goes behind there. And then I'm looking at, you know, everything up here going on and and here I am. So it's great. Yeah, that's me. That's you. So there I am. Ooh, look at this. That's cool, huh? I'm showing me, showing you, showing me, showing you. Um, yeah, so so this is behind the scenes of uh, Wine with Dave. It is, oh, we're past our bedtime. We're past our bedtime. All right, let me get back. Let me get back to the other scene here. Um, boom. Guys, it was a great night. It was a great week. Thank you so much for supporting this. I want to get you kids to bed. It's uh, if you're on the East Coast, if you're in California, uh, you're a little late for supper. Um, you're probably eating a taco right now in the desert. In the desert where the horse has no name. It's 10 01. Um, next week, we're going to get some guests. I have a couple lined up that are interesting. I hope they come through. And definitely Keith Peck. <clears throat> He's going to report from the front lines. Uh, maybe he'll have his phone out with the National Guard. Actually, no. That breaks HIPAA compliancy. He can't photograph the military. But he can at least um, maybe report what happened, helping out those guys. Keith, thanks so much for doing that. Um, you're a great guy. It's raining in California. It's Groundhog Day on drugs. Jordan, O-M-G-G-G-G-G. -G -G -G. Um, so Keith's going to get some video. Guys, thank you. It's 10 o'clock. It's Friday. I am done for the weekend. Um, this has been great. Someone asked me, am I going to keep doing this? Well, I'm doing it during the COVID-19 virus. So when it's over, no, it's, it's over. I won't do this again unless you want me to. Um, so you'll have to let me know if you're interested in it. But we are getting a lot of people watching, and it, it's interesting. I'm just trying to cheer people up, you know, just trying to be the Pied Piper of fun. Uh, so anyway, I've got a closing quote, all right? This is if you're in business. You should, you know, I'm in business, and we just moved to North Kingston to a really awesome place. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, but we can't really move in, uh, so... Mm. Um, well, we moved in. I just painted our logo on the wall. It looks really cool. But I'll show it to you. I'll go live. Wine with Dave. I'll go live there. Maybe I'll do that Monday night. I'm going to be in the office there. I'll just give you a tour of the studio. But if you're a business owner, you got to get out and network, right? But you can't because we can't be around people. So we're doing all these Skypes and Zooms and, and Booms and Crooms and all... Every app that's out there that has digital networking, I know business people are on it. And they're trying to keep keep the, the momentum going. That's why I'm doing this. I want to get uh, people to be aware of businesses, okay? So um, where am I going with this? I'm losing my train of thought. Oh, so the quote is based on that, okay? The quote is, out of sight, out of mind, out of business, out of sight, out of mind, out of business. You got to stay in people's minds and in their sight. So if you're in business, if you're in sales, if sales depends on you, if your business depends on you as the sales guy, saleswoman, then you got, you got to be doing these Zoom calls with like networking groups. Go to Meetup. I'm sure meetup.com has a lot of virtual 
get togethers. You know, you got to stay out there, stay hungry. We gained a few clients and lost one that's actually going to join back with us once this is over. So we're doing pretty good, but you know, this isn't over yet. So, um, don't know what's going to happen in the future. Out of sight, out of mind, out of business. Guys, thanks for coming. Keith, great job. Um, Jordan, here's her quote. OMG, Jordan, thanks for coming on the show. Um, Pink Floyd, play lots of Pink Floyd. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, let me turn this other camera on. Wine with Dave. Look at that. We're going to go inside the glass of wine. It's Wine with Dave. All right, take care. We are going to be going to black in five, four, three, two, one. Take care. Stay frosty, folks.